Motion to approve. I'll second the motion. The motion to approve the meeting, the uh, minutes is ordered. The next item on the list are applications to be considered, be considered for con uh, consideration. The first item is Revere on the Move, 281 Broadway, Dimple Rana, Manager. This is an application for a special one-day entertainment license. The application of Revere on the Move, 281 Broadway, Dimple Rana Manager, for a special one-day license for entertainment to be exercised at 352 through 374 Broadway in the parking lot. The requested date and time is Saturday, July 29th, 2017, from 12 p.m. till 4 p.m. for a Revere rejuvenation event. Is there anyone to speak on behalf of this? I think, um, uh, your name and uh, address for the record, please. Sure, my name is Dimple Rana. Uh, my address that's on file for this permit is 281 Broadway from the Healthy Community Initiatives Department in Revere on the Move. The oh. event um, that we're um, planning right now and um, hope to have on July 29th is in conjunction also with the business owners uh, that are uh, in the property of Dr. Box building and we're helping all the businesses to do a sign unveiling um, as part of also our work in the department around Broadway revitalization and the Revere food economy. Okay, um, do any of the uh, commissioners have any questions? Will this be, this is going to encompass that one block on Broadway? Just Dr. Box building, um, so all the way down from Revere House of Pizza to Peter Wu's, um, and we're going to use the back parking lot to um, have some activities and music, and we're also going to do sign unveilings of all of the businesses at that property. Thank you. Do you have any questions? I have no questions. I just have a couple of quick questions. Um, uh, where, where are the people who are, would normally park in a lot? What, are there any plans or contingencies for where people will park for this event? So we've talked to all of the businesses. The business owners also have talked to each other, knowing that the parking um, lot will not be used for parking during that time, and that we'll have um, people park on other parts of Broadway and Park Ave where there is parking. Um, we've also acknowledged that Peter Wu's um, has asked us to end um, a little bit before four since they open at three because their customers will be using the parking lot. Thank you. Um, now, that, that is a pretty busy intersection there. There's the bus, there's the fire station a lot of traffic. Is there any plans for a detail or some type of traffic mitigation situation there? Um, let me uh, actually bring John Festa up for that. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, Mr. Festa. Uh, John Festa, uh, 281 Broadway. Um, what we're planning on doing is we, we met with all the businesses and we're just trying to promote all the businesses in the city and they want to do a very limited, um, you know, couple hour event. We are going to be dealing, I'm dealing with the police department and the fire department for fire safety 
and how we're going to proceed with this. Um, we're at such, such a, a limited amount of time, um, and we're just blocking up that one section of that block from uh, House of Pizza to uh, Peter Wu's. Um, it, there's no other, other permits that are needed. We just have to notify the police department and the fire department, which I'm doing, and um, there seems to be no problem with it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Do I have a, uh, a motion uh, to uh, act on? I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second the motion. Yeah, the motion to approve is ordered. Thank so you. this is the motion to approve the application for Revere on the Move for a special one-day license for entertainment to be exercised at 352, 374 Broadway in the parking lot. To request a date and time, Saturday, 729-17 from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. And that's for your reju rejuvenation event. Thank you very much. Is that any uh, Item number two is Black Marble Motorcycle, LLC. This is an application for a special one day malt, wine, common victuals, and entertainment license. The application of Black Marble Motorcycle LLC, DBA Boston Harley Davidson, is 649 1 Squire Road. Heather Vieira is the event manager for a special one day license for malt, wine, common victual, entertainment to be exercised in the parking lot of the same location. The requested date and time is Thursday, 727-17, from 6 p.m. until 9 p.m. Event is a car and motorcycle wash for charity. Yes. Name and address for the record, please. Heather Vieira, 13 Jones Street in Everett, Massachusetts. And can you explain a little bit about what you'd like to do here? So we intend to do a car and bike wash at the dealership at uh, 649 Squire Road in Revere. Uh, we're working with a nonprofit organization who will be receiving all of the proceeds from the actual bike wash and the proceeds from the sale of beer. Very good. And um, I see from your application that you've made provisions to limit the number of drinks that people can have for this event. As typically what you've done in the past? Yes. In the past, uh, what we've done is we have a wristband system where everyone is allowed to have two beers over the course of the three hours of the event, and then they are no longer served after their two beers. And we intend to do that this time as well. I, I also see that the number of attendees you expect is between two and 500. It's a possibility that with the car and bike wash that they may just come for the event of getting the cars or bikes washed and then leave. We don't know how many may be staying around, so it's between two and 500 people. And how many security personnel do you plan on having in, that, uh, in the area? I have eight personnel staffed out for security between uh, the front of the dealership to the end where we meet the road. Do any of my fellow commissioners have any questions? No, I have no questions. They've run these events in the past and uh, we've never had a problem, and I see it's only for three hours? Yes. Just a three hour time. Good. No, I have no questions. You know, for the most part, these events have gone pretty much um, pretty transparent, seamless in terms of, you know, any problems, so I really don't have any issues to address because you've been well policed internally and I mean, whatever detail you use, so I'm okay with it. Very good, is there a, a motion um, to be voted upon? I'll make a motion to approve the uh, one-day license uh, for the, car, the bike wash, car and bike wash. Is there a second for that motion? I'll second the motion. The motion to approve a one-day license is ordered. The application for a special one-day malt, wine, carmel and victual license and entertainment for Black Marble Motorcycle <laughs> to be exercised in the parking lot of the same location. The requested date and time is Thursday, 
727-17 from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And if I could ask, what is the charity that is being uh, benefited by this? We've partnered with the Boston Roller Derby team, which is a nonprofit organization, and they're helping us staffing with security and washing the cars and bikes, so we'll be donating the proceeds to them. Last month, we had donated the proceeds to the American Heart Association. Great. Sounds like a great event. I hope you get a lot of people for it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, item number three is uh, Broadway Pizza, Inc., 266 Broadway, Rodrigo Savino, the manager. This is an application for a change of officer director and a change of manager for a Carmen Victula license. The application of Broadway Pizza, Inc., uh, the operation is to remain the same. Uh, sir, your name and address for the record, please. Yeah, Rodrigo Savino. Uh, I live at 26 Lexington Street in uh, Watertown. And what are your plans address. for his, sir? Sorry? Your plans for this uh, location? Yeah, two, uh, 266 Broadway Review, uh, Broadway Pizza Inc. So. Okay, and um, I have one question. The door that's between the liquor store and the pizza place, is that still there or is that now uh, gone? That's separate. It used to be the same, but uh, they made a door. Now they don't have any more, so we separate, we split it. Very so good. I run that business, and there's somebody else got the a leak store. Separate businesses. Uh, do any fellow commissioners have any questions? No, I have no questions. So everything no, basically the, the whole you. operation is staying the same, just a change of management. Pardon me? The operation is staying the same, just a change of management. Correct. Yeah, yeah, I'll be the same, same hours yes. and everything else, okay. same. I have no questions. Okay. Um, I have neglected to do this previously, and I'm sorry, it was open the I'll meeting propose, to propose. various opponents and proponents of issues. And so I neglected to do that earlier. So if there were any proponents to any of the things that we had discussed earlier, our proponents, I'd be willing to hear them now. Uh, hearing and seeing none, we'll move forward to this one. Are there any opponents or proponents to this issue? Seeing and hearing none, I will close that portion. Again, I apologize for that. Um, is there a motion to be acted upon? Motion to approve. I'll second. The motion to approve has been ordered. The application for a change of officers and directors, a change of manager for a common good license for Broadway Pizza Inc. Rodrigo Savino Manager has been approved. The operation is to remain the same. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So this is an, a, uh, a transfer of a common victualler and entertainment license from Tomas Burgers LLC, uh, said license to be exercised at 570A Broadway, Revere. Requested hours of operation are Sunday through Saturday from 7 a.m. until 10 p.m. Requested seating is 20, and the requested entertainment is a radio and TV. Good afternoon. Your name and address for the record, sir? Juan Jaramillo, I'm 1434 New Road, Riviera. Very good. And what are your plans for this location, sir? Um, it was a burger place before. I think the previous owner didn't do pretty good, so we ended up getting the place. Um, we're trying to open up 
uh, taqueria, like burrito, tacos, quesadillas, really simple, in and out place for lunch and dinner, uh, basically. And um, just refreshments and stuff, uh, the regular restaurant. But it's not gonna be much of sitting down, it's just like a takeout for offices and um, people around. It's like a boloco kind of, if you are familiar with it. Or Chipotle is a, that kind of restaurant. And will you be serving three meals? Will you be serving um, breakfast as well? The, yeah, breakfast is in the plan to do uh, soon. We're gonna start with bre uh, uh, lunch and dinner, and then we can do the breakfast after we open regular hours. Do any of my uh, fellow commissioners have any questions? I see you want to open three hours earlier. Yes. We have to do all the prep and um, the, the preparation in the morning because everything is going to be prepared. And um, we're going to open really soon the breakfast. Okay. For breakfast. I, I'm not too sure exactly where this location is. Oh, we are right next to Down, Domino's. Excuse me? Right next to Domino's. Domino's Pizza. Oh, okay. Where the burger place was? Where the burger place was and it was a subway before. Okay, so we don't have many abutters there, do we, residential? Um, residential, yeah, there's a few houses in the back. In the back? Yeah. Because 7 a.m. is an early opening. Um, what time do you get your deliveries? If you open at 7, what time would your um, deliveries? Deliveries are going to be like in the mid-morning, around 10, around 9 10. to 10, around that area. It wouldn't be before 8 o'clock? Uh, just the breakfast when we start serving it. And, no, I'm uh, talking about deliveries. Oh, no deliveries at that time. No, not at all. Because we're going to go actually buy the food. We have another restaurant in, in East Boston, really successful for 15 years already. So we're trying to, you know, combine both and buy all the food for both and bring it here. Um, we actually go and buy the food ourselves to uh, Restaurant Depot and uh, um, the marketplace in Boston for vegetables. So you do your own delivering? Yes, and I have a couple people who deliver to me, like Coca-Cola and, um, and, and refreshments. But they're going to do it. They always do it like mid, midday, mid-morning. But it would have no need to go up that side street oh, for no. deliveries. Oh, no, and we have a little parking alley, too, there. We have a, like a parking spot if they need to. Okay, that's why I, I get very concerned when I have a 7 o'clock opening because we had some places that we allowed them to open at 7. They were having deliveries at 5. Oh, okay. I totally understand. I'll be sure I, that doesn't happen. Right. I, I really wouldn't want that to happen. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I got a question. So this, um, the, the burger joint there, is, uh, is that operational now or is that, is that open now? The one no, they, they, they closed. Been and we, haven't, we didn't even change anything because everything was there. The whole setup was ready. Okay. So we just stopped, went there, made a few. We changed one thing to another side, and, and that's it. Okay. Right, just good. Uh, but, you know, it's good to have something there than this a vacant building with some. Yes. So uh, yeah, it's good. Yes. Thank you so much. Any other questions? We have, have no, no further other questions. questions. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll close that part of the meeting. Are there any proponents? Hearing and seeing none, I will ask, are there any opponents? Hearing and seeing none, I will close that part of the meeting. Uh, is there a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the common vigil license uh, and entertainment license, which we didn't ask what the entertainment was. What is the entertainment? TV? Well, it depends on what they have on it's the application. We, we, we have only one TV there, oh, just okay. to uh, put some music. No karaoke like, uh, or anything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, just teasing. That's okay. pretty much. Just make a motion we'll to approve the uh, entertainment and common vigil license. Do I get a second? Do you have a second on there? Oh, I'll second that motion. Thank yes. you. Thank, Thank you. you. The uh, motion is ordered. Um, and the application for the transfer of the common victualless license and entertainment license of uh, at Juan's Taqueria, Juan Diamarillo, President and Manager. The license is transferred uh, from Tomas Burgers LLC. The requested hours of operation are Sunday, 
through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. The requested seating is 20. The requested entertainment license is for radio and TV. Uh, item number five. You're all set. You're all set. Thank you, sir. Wait a minute. Okay. Can't hear. I'm sorry. Okay, item number five is uh, Jimerson Ent Enterprises, LLC, DBA Larry J's Barbecue Cafe, to be located at 1148, 1150 North Shore Road, Larry Jimerson, manager. The application for an all alcohol restaurant license, the application of Jimerson Ent Enterprises, DBA Larry J's Barbecue Cafe, Larry Jimerson, manager, for an all alcohol restaurant license to be exercised at 1148 to 1150 North Shore Road. The requested seating is for 50, and requested hours of operation are Friday through Sunday from 11 a.m. until 11 p.m. Your name and address for the record, sir? My home address? Larry Jimerson, J-I-M-E-R-S-O-N. I live at 12 Logan Street in Lynn, Mass. Thank you very much. And what are your intentions here, sir? Just uh, offer a simple barbecue to the city of Revere like I did in uh, Chelsea. Very good. And um, I see that you have another location in Boston. I'm in the seaport of South Boston, yes. Uh, do you have alcohol at that location? No, I do not. Um, do, you, do any of my commissioners have any questions? Well, I see it's going to be a barbecue. I, I'm familiar with the, um, I'm very familiar with the area and the building itself. I'm just surprised that it seats 50 people. When you say seating of 50 people, are we talking tables? Are you talking bar seats? Both. Um, it had an occupancy for more than that, but I didn't, I didn't need that type of space. The majority of the space is going to be a kitchen, so there's a bar built in the front, and there's probably about 20, 30, 40 seats. We didn't even go for the 50 because um, when I went to the commission, that's what they put down. I just went with what they wrote. Okay. It now, has occupancy for 50. Okay. This is Red's, True. the old Red's, Red's place, yes. Place, yeah. I just huh? didn't think it was that big inside, and I've been in there several times. So it, when I saw 50 seats, it seems like an awful lot. Well, and well, at your other locations, what, what kind of menu do you have at your other locations? Pretty much the same that I'm going to serve here in Revere. Um, ribs, pulled pork, chicken. Okay. And, sides. Uh, I do, I do see there is a parking lot there. How sure. many members of parking spaces so are there? So the parking lot is um, coincide with the seats. There's about 12 parking space spaces. So you figure uh, for every parking space, you can get three uh, seats. And there's, uh, I think it's 12 to 15 spaces. So that's still there. Okay. The only, there's, we're just going to lose one space for a refrigerator. That's it. Because I am, again, I, you know, I know the area very well, and that is highly <coughs> residential. I, I think you've got four feet before the first resident uh, from that building. Pretty much. Um, so I, I just, I, I get concerned when we give out uh, liquor licenses to the area, and obviously there's many children around there, so... Um, I get concerned. Um, do you have a following that's going to come with you as far as your employees? Uh, a following? Tip, well, I mean, bartenders, waitresses, people that know the business. Of course. It's going to be a, a respectable business. Uh, there's not a lot of children in the area. There's no, I'm a, talking about, there is a lot of children in the area. No, I'm talking about your employees. Um, are these? Are you going to bring them from other businesses where they've already been trained? Sure. Uh, well, we're going to advertise and 
hire people. Um, I don't have anybody for that location at this moment. At this moment. And so who will be the manager? Are you going that, to be on the premises? Yeah, all the time. It's my operation, my wife and I, but I'm there 24 seven. Oh, so you will, you will be there. Well, that's what I'm getting to, whether you're setting it up and going to bring your people from another location to run okay, it. Okay, so, no. Um, so for a liquor license, you have to have uh, safe, safe serve Certified. certificates. We have right. all of that. Licensed bartenders trained in all of the aspect of serving. Um, Food servers, the whole nine yards. I mean, we, we had a, we were 950 Broadway, Chelsea. I, I think that was, there's a lot more children in that location than where, where I'm at, at, at 1148 Revere. Um, and we never had a problem. We had a full liquor license there as well. And you've never been up for any violations oh, or anything? That no. would never cross my table. <laughs> never. Yeah. Never. Okay, I have no other questions. So I don't see anything like there's going to be no entertainment, no tea, because you, I don't think you apply for it. There's probably going to be music. I didn't see that spot on the application when I was filling out. There's not really much space for TVs in there because okay. it's kind of low overhead. Uh, TVs probably will be menu monitors of that sort and okay. probably some kind so, of radio but there's no place for a band or any of that no. nonsense so for them to put music do they need a separate license for that they would have to apply for apply. a special entertainment license if he didn't apply at this time yeah, that so. would have to be advertised yeah. but he could obviously um i think this board has the authority to uh license tvs and a radio at this yeah. point but as far as entertainment that would be a separate application yeah. okay so uh, so no outdoor seating, correct? Is it? Right? There's no place for outdoor no. seating, no. no. Okay. And then inspectional sir, is it is it ready to go? I mean, inspectional services have been in and signed off and everything. Oh no, we're, we're not even there yet. We're miles behind. Okay. Okay. Uh, we had um, major, I wouldn't say problems, but we had to deal with the new fire inspector for quite a few months while he learned his job and. We had to work through all of that. Interesting. And so, um, a lot of that. we're here. We are. Okay. I'm just trying to get out in front of everything now, but we're still under construction. We're trying to get the most important license before you Did move forward. Absolutely. Right? Good, yeah. Good thing. I don't have any more questions. Um, I think you've you've addressed my questions regarding you know responsible service sure. that that's really what the issue is uh, I see that from your application you don't really have a lot of experience with the liquor aspect so just want to make sure that you're covering your bases with that and oh, yeah. that you are going to take seriously the the uh, responsibility of serving alcohol well that's why we're not staying open past 12 or 1 o'clock or any of that we, we don't want to be the neighborhood bars where people can come Great. and stagger out of and find their way home after dark no okay well i understand um any i just have i just have one more question are you leasing this building or did you purchase it lease you're leasing it mm -hmm. okay thank you so he you have, you're applying for till 11 o'clock, correct? You know that? Yes. Okay, all right. Because you mentioned oh, yeah. 12.01. Oh, I was just saying that we did not want to be the place that correct. stayed open to oh. 12 or 1 o'clock gotcha. where people just staggered out yeah. to find their way home. Yeah, because if you want to apply, you know, in case you do, you might want to yeah. visit that. E even see. though, it, it, I mean, Red's place was a bar for years. Yeah. Uh, but we're not bringing Red's, we're not resurrecting Red's. Right. or whatever reds used to be i don't know but that's not who i am so very good well, thank okay. you sir thanks i uh, will close that portion uh, are there any proponents of this proposal uh hearing and seeing none i will close that are there any opponents good afternoon uh John Powers, 46 Neponsa Street, Revere. I, I do live in that neighborhood, 
and uh, uh, Mrs. Ganasso was right. There are a lot of children in that neighborhood. Uh, it's not Broadway, Chelsea. It's not the Seaport District. It's a, a family neighborhood. And uh, I, uh, I don't like the idea of all alcohol going in there. Uh, barbecue, fine. Uh, maybe beer and wine, at, you know, at your discretion. But I'm definitely opposed to all alcohol in there. Yeah, it's the wrong place. Uh, the gentleman mentioned that they did have it before. That was many, many years ago. And uh, the neighborhood has changed considerably. Uh, we've got uh, all new apartments going in on Ocean Avenue, which was adjacent to that neighborhood. Uh, it's just, uh, to me, it's the wrong, the wrong thing to allow a business uh, to bring al all alcohol into a local neighborhood. If it was on Broadway, Central Business District, perhaps. But this is not the Central Business District. This is a neighborhood that is family orientated. Uh, and I have been 100% opposed to the all alcohol portion of this. And I, I hope the commission uh, would agree with that. And. Uh, Again, whatever else happens down there, that's, of course, your discretion, but uh, the all alcohol I'm against. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Are there any other opponents? Hearing and seeing on, uh, yes, sir. So, anyone that has concerns with Red's Place, Red Place is whatever it used to be, I don't know, but we Sir, I, I just, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I had no problems with them. They were only there. I don't think they were there every year. But so I'm not judging your application by Red's Place. I grew up there many, many years ago. It, it was a bar for many years ago. It was not called Red's. It was a different bar. Okay. So, I, no, this has nothing to do with Reds. They weren't there very long. And to be honest with you, I don't think this board had any problems with Reds because they weren't open. So I'm not, any of my remarks were not towards Reds. No, I, I, I didn't no. take anything you have to say offensive. Yeah. No, I just want you to know I'm not judging this applicant his. on that. Yeah. I'm judging it on the neighborhood, where it is, the hours, the full liquor license. Um, but it has nothing to do with any previous, as, as the previous speaker just said, things have changed. We can't go by what happened, you know, uh, 50 years ago. We could go to Revere Beach 50 years ago. It's not the same place. Yeah. You know, so please don't take that. No, as, I'm not offended. I'm not judging. Th there is, uh, there's a liquor store right next door. Yes, there's a full package store. Yeah, absolutely. Right. There's bars around the corner on the beach side. And yeah. we're closing long before they even, so we're not even in the same category, really. Well, the bar so, around the corner is long gone, which is um, very good for the neighborhood. The one that was on Revere Street is no longer there. So, but either way, we're, we're not bringing the same package. It closed at 11 o'clock. Everybody goes home. Oh, I'm all for a restaurant. Yeah. I mean, something's got to go there. A restaurant barbecue sounds... Great, you know, um, but the concern is, like I say, the, the neighborhood, and um, it has changed. It's not uh, like it used to be. We're putting more. I think you do very well there, actually, with all the condos that have gone up. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I just wanted to clarify that. Okay. I, I, you, you had enough, sir? You yep. said what you wanted uh -oh. to say? No. Very good. Are there any other uh, opponents? I will close that portion of the meeting. Um, is there a motion? Um, I'm going to make a motion to approve the, uh, the full liquor license for the um, for the uh, apl applicants. Is there a second for that? No, I, I'm not going to go on a second with that. Um, I appreciate my colleagues and his thoughts of a full liquor license. 
I personally would have liked to have seen, again, a beer and wine would have been great with a, a barbecue, and, um, and then go from there. Sometimes we start at the top, and you know, to pull it back makes it a little bit harder. But a beer and wine I probably could have went along with, but I think at this point I would have to be opposed. So it would be up to you, Commissioner. Um, yeah, I just feel that, you know, given there's a liquor, liquor store close by, I understand, um, you know, having a restaurant there, and I think we're trying to promote business, um, you know, activity in the city, and I think, you know, it seems like you've got a good track record. Right? You're in a great location at Seaport. I see no reason he's got a following of bad patrons coming. Um, so I understand, you know, hard liquor and beer is a little bit different, but it really isn't, depending on a lot of people don't, don't drink beer and wine. They just drink uh, a regular mixed drink. But that's just my feeling. I'm okay with it. And, um, but it's up to my colleagues here. Uh, I appreciate the concern of the opponents. Um, however, I think that there is a greater good as far as bringing business and this type of business to the city, I think is overall a, a good thing. I think that the uh, applicant has uh, expressed an understanding of the uh, responsibility of liquor service, and I think you know we can impress upon him that we will bring him back here if that turns out to be something that he is lacking in. So for those reasons, I'm going to vote to approve the uh, motion. I would like to be recorded as being opposed. The uh, recording is so ordered. Um, so the application for Jimerson Enterprises, Larry J's Barbecue Cafe, Larry Jimerson Manager for an all alcohol license to be exercised at 1148, 1150 North Shore Road. The requested seating is for 50 and the requested hours of operation are Friday through Sunday from 11A to 11P. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, item number six, hook. Excuse me, if I may, that's not commercial development. Thank you. I, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Item number six, the, the Hook and Reel, Inc., DBA, Hook and Reel. This is an application for an all-alcohol restaurant license. Application of Hook and Reel, Inc., DBA, Hook and Reel, for an all-alcohol restaurant license to be exercised at 151A VFW Parkway. The hours are Sunday through Thursday from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m., and Friday and Saturday from 3 p.m. until 12 a.m. with the requested seating for 154. Uh, name and address for the record, please. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Kristen Scanlon with Scanlon Law at 30 Rose Wharf, uh, Suite 600 in Boston. With me uh, this afternoon and standing to my left is Lee Lin, who is the sole owner and proposed manager of record of the licensed, um, a proposed licensed establishment at 151A VFW Park Parkway here in, Re in Revere. Um, by way of background, if it's okay to just proceed with the presentation and then address any questions that the board has following. Um, Mr. Lin has extensive experience in the restaurant industry. He's essentially born and raised um, in the restaurant industry and throughout his entire adult life for the last 10 years or so has worked in all facets of the industry from being a server to a cook in the kitchen and as he got older um, to being involved in everything from construction to management to opening restaurants, uh, family restaurants down in New York, New Jersey, and in Maryland, and now this is his uh, first location um, up here that he would be primarily responsible for. Uh, this property itself over in Wonderland Plaza became, uh, or he became aware of it about a year ago. I know that they um, underwent a change in ownership, the entire plaza itself, to a local operator. 
and uh, it was brought to his attention and thought it might be a prime location for the concept that he does have proposed for this location, which um, is primarily seafood, um, but with a unique twist on it where if you're at all familiar with what's referred to as a low country boil, um, with a bit of a Cajun twist on it. So obviously um, with a, um, a flair on local seafood, you know, your clams, mussels, oysters, uh, lobster, crab, calamari, other various um, seafood options, but also a unique part of the concept is that they're encouraging people to eat with their hands, which is how traditional um, boil is, is served and presented, and that also promotes you know, a family environment where mm -hmm. you're putting down the cell phones and, and because your hands are going to be dirty and eat with, eat with your hands, although they will provide uh, silverware upon request. Um, as far as the space itself is concerned, it's about 4,800 square feet with proposed seating for 154. Um, the capacity, once they go through final approvals with ISD, I think will come out to about 180. Um, the proposed hours of operation, as previously indicated, are Sunday through Thursday from 3 p.m. till 10 p.m. And on Saturday and Sunday, they would like, I know we initially reported or requested 3 p.m. to midnight, but they would like to serve lunch on Saturdays and Sundays, so if I do need to come back to address that, along with the entertainment that they now have a little bit more fleshed out, because we know we'll be coming back for that anyway, I can correct that record at the time as far as the hours are concerned. Um, for hiring people, they anticipate hiring between 25 and 35 um, individuals, both full-time, a mix of full-time and part-time employees all of whom will be um, TIP certified and trained in addition to Mr. Lynn as the um, proposed manager of record. Um, as far as the public need is concerned, as this is a, a application for a new all-alcoholic beverage license, I know um, that Revere isn't at quota, but more importantly, and as I kind of mentioned along with the concept, there seems to be a lot of Italian pizza, fast casual food. I know there is steak and seafood. Um, at different restaurants, but there are very few restaurants that focus solely on seafood, which he's definitely highlighting um, with this concept. Um, so hopefully that would fill, you know, an unmet um, concept in not only Revere, but I think kind of the Boston area as well. And I work with a lot of restaurants in Boston, Somerville, Cambridge, surrounding metro area, and there really aren't too many that focus on this particular concept, the, the southern boil or the low country boil with the Cajun flair. Um, so that's one of the many reasons they're excited to, to bring this to um, Revere and, and the area itself. Um, as far as timeline for construction and opening, they have done all their meetings with the Inspectional Services Department and received all the permits that they need to there, and they're looking at approximately an opening between 12 and 15 weeks from now, if approved. Okay, very good. Do um, any of fellow commissioners have any questions? Well, it's on uh, 151 VFW Park. Where, where is that? That's right in the Wonderland Marketplace. Oh, oh, the Marketplace. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right, there's right. only, I, I forgot to mention too, there's only the 99 restaurant in the plaza right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you look at a map of Revere, right. it's interesting as far as the restaurant placement goes because there really are only a select few restaurants over there. There's the 99 that focuses on, you know, pub fare, American food. There's a Cambodian restaurant, a Mexican yeah. restaurant, yeah. not too far away, but that's the only one in that plaza and it's filling a, a space, a retail space that's been vacant there for, gotcha. for a little bit now. So no. So no, no entertainment requests? We will come back. We were okay. fleshing that out based on where things would go, anticipated background music and TVs, um, but no live entertainment, no bands, okay. karaoke, DJ, anything like that. Yeah. Any, any parking issues? No parking no. issues. There's no cars in there from, uh, from Neco? No, not so on far. <laughs> Um, I, well, I to me, this questions. seems like an exciting place coming to the city. This is what we're looking for. Um, a nice restaurant. I like where it is. There is no residential there. This is the type of, uh, of business that um, I would like to go to myself. And um, I'm, kind of, I'm looking forward to it. You said how many, um, how long will it be before? About three to four months, give or take. To, to um, get so it. November-ish. 
Okay. Now you, you're saying here also you're going to be doing you're going to be hiring at least 35 employees yeah, locally. to work there. I mean, do you consider Revere residents, you know, coming into our city and um, yes. that's yeah. preferable? Yes. Yeah, that would be nice. We always like that when we have a big place like that coming in, and uh, to consider some of the Revere residents for um, employment and. Do you have another business like this? Did you say, are you running another Oh, well, there's fish? another one in uh, Maryland. It's like oh, in Maryland. Yeah, it's the same concept. You know, we, have, we serve liquors, we have TVs, you know, just for sports and, you know, seafood. So you, you're talking this going to be mostly shellfish? Is that what you're looking at? No, we have some uh, sandwich meal as well. We have some uh, appetizer, fried seafood, and then some boiled seafood. Okay, and this one, this isn't a, um, um, it's going to be served, it's, it's a dining in or is it a, a uh, buffet? Oh, it is dining yes. in. Yes, no buffet. No buffet? No. Wine? No. Okay. Sounds, it sounds great. Sounds like something that, you know, the city needs. As you said, I don't know, we have fish places and it uh, sounds exciting. I just have a, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple of quick questions. I, I see that um, you've had some restaurant experience in the past. Were any of these other places, did they serve alcohol also? Yes, the one that uh, currently is open in Umo, Maryland, is serving alcohol. It's, that place is open about a year from now. Very good. Um, and again, I just wanted to, to impress upon you that really the responsibility of the board is to make sure that you're going to be responsible serving alcohol and so you know we'd want to see that your your employees are tip certified and that kind of stuff and yes, hopefully uh, I was planning that uh, me and then I'm probably gonna hire two more manager on site to have you know tip certified also as a bartender and a supervisor great thank you very much and they do just to add to that too we've discussed the their operations at his restaurants that are down in Maryland and New Jersey and New York and um, they have a policy where they ID everyone. So, very good. That's Thank helpful. You. Yes. Thank you. Um, I will close this portion of the meeting. Are there any proponents? Thank you. Thank you, uh, members of the commission. Ira Novoselsky, 53 Dehon Street in Revere, and I am the ward counselor, uh, city counselor. And uh, I want to show my support for this. Um, it is my neighborhood, and uh, everybody's excited about hearing the new restaurant come in. Uh, I hope it's not all shellfish. I hope they do have some fried food and some boiled haddock or something like that. But uh, uh, we are excited. It's a good location, plenty of parking, uh, main roads coming in and out of the neighborhood, the area. And uh, we're excited. Uh, we've been talking about it around. Uh, the people on the beach front, that uh, the new apartments that are living there, and they were all excited about hearing a nice restaurant coming in like that at that location because it's close on this on East, East Revere. There aren't that many uh, large type restaurants or uh, sit-ins sit that we can uh, go to, and it's a change of pace, and we're looking forward to it. And uh, I'm in favor of this. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Are there any other uh, proponents? Seeing and hearing none, I will close that portion of the meeting. Is there a motion? I'll make the motion to approve the uh, application for all alcohol restaurant license for Hook and Rail. Is there a second on that motion? I'll second that motion. The, the application is ordered. The, um, the application of Hook and Reel Inc., DBA Hook and Reel for all alcohol restaurant licenses to be exercised at 151A VFW Parkway. Uh, the hours of operation will be Sunday through Thursday, 3 p.m. to 10 p.m., and Friday through Saturday, 3 p.m. to 12 a.m., with the requested seating for 154. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thanks. Good luck. Um, what do I want that for? 
The next uh, item is uh, item number seven, Lazy Crab, LLC, 733 Broadway, Unit 1, Min Ki and Beeping Wang Managers. This is an application for an all alcohol restaurant license. Application of Lazy Crab, LLC, Restaurant and Bar, Min Kui and Beeping Wang Managers for an all alcohol restaurant license to be exercised at 733 Broadway, Unit 1. The requested hours of operation are Monday through Friday, 11.30 a.m. to 12 a.m. and Saturday through Sunday, 11.30 a.m. to 2 a.m. with requested seating for 49. Mr. Chairman, members of the Commission, Joseph Cotogio, 1 Sprague Street, Revere, representing the applicants, Lazy Crab, LLC, who is seeking a license, uh, liquor license at 733 Broadway. Um, it, as an, an initial um, item, the, uh, the hours of operation, I think, were misstated. Uh, mis, uh, um, they're looking for weekend till 2, not Sunday till 2. If that can be amended or if you need us to file, we will. The Friday and Saturday night hours uh, uh, till 2 a.m., not Sunday, um, they're, uh, um, they misunderstood the weekend part of the uh, the hours of operation. So it would be Sunday to Thursday okay. to... Just so I'm clear. Yes. On, on Monday, you want to open at 11.30 in the morning. Yes. And then you want to close at midnight? Midnight. And that's Monday through Friday. You want to go from 11.30 until midnight. Actually, it should be Sunday to Thursday, 11.30 to midnight. And then Friday and Saturday, 11.30 to 2 a.m. Okay. So it would be Monday through Thursday. Sunday 11th. through Sunday through Thursday. Sunday through Thursday. Yes. From 11.30 to midnight. To midnight. And then, and then on Friday, Friday evening... And Saturday evening, you'd like to extend the hour beyond midnight till what time? 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Oh. And this is going to be uh, at what location again? This is the old Sebastian? Yes, that's correct. We're familiar with the uh, uh, location. We have a, a um, track history uh, uh, at this location. The, the uh, location is set up in a condominium unit. The, the entire building is a series of condominiums. This is uh, the applicants are proposed purchases of the unit, so they don't, are not going to be operating under a lease agreement. They will actually own the premises um, and deal with it as a condominium. The layout, uh, seating, um, bar setup, uh, bar seating are all to be carried over from the previous owner. Uh, in fact, uh, it, it is as much a turnkey operation as, uh, as can be imagined. Everything is, is in place. Uh, the only uh, item that lapsed was the license that was there previously. Um, so they are looking to continue on without uh, any res uh, renovations other than just decor. Uh, they have, uh, at the request of the, the License Commission, we did contact the building department with regard to their inspections for building, health, fire. Uh, their response was for us to go forward with the license application. Uh, obviously, we would accept it as conditional upon approval for occupancy from all of the departments. Um, but that's how they, they requested. I talked to the, the uh, chairman of the building, uh, the um, building supervisor, uh, and uh, that was his uh, request. It's my understanding he contacted the commission as well. Uh, my, uh, my clients are excited, enthusiastic. Uh, they have a, a catering background. Uh, they uh, intend to uh, bring in a, a, a new style, a little Asian twist to a seafood uh, restaurant, um, maybe make it a little less casual than uh, Sebastian's was, but uh, still with the same uh, um, uh, uh, attention to quality and, uh, and detail. Um, they are familiar with the area, with the parking. Uh, I have uh, uh, coordinated, uh, hopefully, some continued parking with the Sons of Italy that Sebastian had. Um, I do uh, know the operators there, and, and we're hopeful to have that uh, ironed out as well. Um, beyond that, we hope to be a, a staple uh, in the, uh, the heart of Broadway, um, looking to bring a little uh, 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 modern uh, uh, movement there. 
Um, we understand the obligations and responsibilities of operating a, a liquor license. Any uh, employees will be uh, TIP certified. Um, and uh, we hope to uh, answer uh, any questions that you might have. In, in looking at the applications, I can see that neither of, the, of your clients have had restaurant experience or experience with alcohol service. They are relative newcomers, but again, they appreciate the, uh, the responsibility and, uh, and understand, you know, given the location right in the heart of Broadway, they will be uh, uh, held to a high standard and they in intend to maintain that. Thank you. Um, do any of uh, fellow commissioners have any questions? No, I guess uh, just with the parking. Um, yes. I know they did have some kind of an agreement, Sebastian's, with the Sons of Italy, but of course that's changed now. It's now Revere something. Uh, Sons of Revere. So have you spoken with them? About uh, I've, I've, uh, just preliminarily, we, we, again, we're hoping to have um, a, 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 you know, a similar agreement. We know that that's a, a fairly good sized parking lot that is off, often underutilized and we would hope that they would uh, continue on with the relationship. We haven't finalized anything with that yet. Any, everything beyond that would be uh, Broadway, uh, you know, metered parking. Okay, and the fire uh, hasn't approved. W w is it for the fire sprinklers? Is that the well the occupancy? Yeah, once we we uh, are ready to operate, we'd have to apply for an occupancy permit, and that would entail uh, an, an inspection. It, it will also entail on the purchase of the property an inspection by the fire department to make sure that all uh, fire suppression systems were in good working order and up to code. Yeah, so because I wasn't too sure you need the sprinkler system if it was under 100 I, occupancy. I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure about an actual what their requirement would be as far as sprinkler, but the the requirement for any any uh, Detection uh, system or um, would be, you know, would be obviously to code on the purchase of the building, the unit, and on the uh, seating capacity for the uh, the restaurant. Okay, so they are going to purchase the condo then. Yes, yes, it is uh, under agreement, conditional upon um, the issuance of the permit and any other licenses that are required, which we've applied for here. Okay, thank you. No further questions. I will close that portion of the meeting. Are there any uh, proponents? Seeing and hearing none, I will close that. Are there any opponents? Seeing and hearing none, I will close that. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to approve all alcohol license for the Lazy Crab. Now we got two crab new restaurants coming in. I assume you're serving crab, crab cakes. Crab legs. You don't understand. No, you do, the, the, the people before saying. Yeah, we noticed no, that. There's no crab legs <laughs> we, now. All, we weren't aware of it, but we did notice it. But we're, uh, you know, we're, we're certain that we could have our own little take on the uh, on the menu. No, I'm looking forward to it. It's a yeah. good, tough, tight location, but it'd be good. So I'm going to prove the motion, make the motion, I should say. Uh, I'll, I'll second that motion. The application for an all alcohol restaurant license for Lazy Crab Restaurant and Bar, Min Kui and Beeping Wang manages for all alcohol restaurant license to be exercised at 733 Broadway, Unit 1. The hours of operation are Sunday through Thursday, 1130 to midnight and Friday and Saturday, 11.30 to 2 a.m. That's ordered and approved. Thank you, sir. What can I say? Mr. Chairman, if, uh, if I can have your indulgence, uh, are you all through with your agenda to for the this meeting? Are you all through with your agenda for this meeting? Oh, one more item. Okay, I'll stand. I'll stand past until you finish. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear what he said. He wants us to finish the agenda. He wants us to okay, okay, I just have one more agenda item. Uh, this is a uh, 
A final approval of renewal upon resolution of inspectional issues for the Mirage Inc. DBA Mirage Restaurant 220 Linway for an al all alcohol restaurant license. This is just a renewal. Uh, is there, and we consider it renewed. Uh, is there a motion to renew it? Motion to renew. I'll second. Uh, the license for Mirage Restaurant, LLC, 220 Linway, for the all-alcohol restaurant license has been renewed. And that's the end of the agenda items. Is there... Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, members of the Commission, um, I want to bring up... Um, I'm, I have a concern. I, as everybody knows, this weekend is the uh, International Riviera Beach Sand Sculpt on the Beach. And uh, over the past years, we've had a lot of people opening up parking lots and renting spaces for Friday, Saturday, Sunday at pretty high rates, maybe $20 per day. And they are not have licensed to do this. And you have some large parking lots that could have up to 50 cars in them. And there are some small ones, and I know everybody's looking to make a few bucks somewhere, but... Uh, I have a concern about the uh, people that are coming to use the beach and that are getting uh, taken, as you may say, at 20 bucks for a day for parking on a large thing. And I just want to bring the caution up to your attention that uh, these people shouldn't be operating. They shouldn't be selling parking spaces. Uh, I know we have uh, an ordinance for parking. And I would hope that you can have uh, the police department um, look over the areas, surveillance type thing, to keep an eye on the areas from, you know, Ocean, uh, not from Ocean Ave, from North Shore Road down to the beach area and from Elliott Circle or down to uh, Cary Circle. And I know everybody wants to make a buck. But, you know, not at the cost of uh, people coming to use the city and uh, us not getting our fair share. You know, they should be licensed, and if they're doing it, they should be stopped. And I, I know it's maybe opening a can of worms, but it bothers me, and it has bothered me over the years. Uh, so, you know, I think it's time to bring it to your attention to enforce this and um, stop this illegal parking so I totally agree with you counselor and I think we know who the abusers are and they're the same abusers every year who actually come out and stand on Ocean Ave directing traffic which ties up all of Ocean Ave um, I think this year we're going to have a little reprieve from that because they've built on some of the land but uh, I'm in total agreement I think the police department should be on notice and they should drive in those areas we know where they are we know who these people are and again i think we have a parking lot there that we also do license um and during the year it's five dollars i don't know what jurisdiction we have over that but to go up to twenty twenty five dollars for this weekend is absurd and we do see that year after year and it is a big problem with all the traffic that we have we don't need people in the middle of the street trying to get traffic to go in there uh, on, on nice unlicensed lots, but I will tell you the licensed lots on Ocean Ave Are also taking advantage and I think it's terrible I think this board should send them a notice that just because we do have a big event They should not be charging $20 more on this weekend. It's not the Yankees Red Sox <laughs> in downtown Boston where they raise it to fifty dollars, but they do. you know and, I, and we do have licensed lots and we don't have real control over the, as far as I know, over the prices. Right. Uh, but the ones that we do have control over, the ones that don't have licenses. There are people on North Shore Road, people on Beach Street, uh, people on uh, Revere Street, uh, Lower End, Ocean Ave, and there are a few on Ocean Ave, a number on the Revere Beach Boulevard. Revere Beach Boulevard, we have right now three that are running illegal, but I think we've already spoke with the officer and He's going to be checking those out before the weekend comes. Good. I just want to bring it to your attention and you know make sure we're aware of everything and that we're uh, being proactive. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very counselor. much.
just so you are aware, we did talk about that earlier, and there is going to be some action over the next few days. So, hey, thank, thank you very you much. Thank you very much for bringing that to our attention. Yes, I'll um, I will make sure the, um, the sector cars, as well as the supervisors working this weekend, are aware of the uh, situation and the concerns with the uh, illegal parking lots, and, uh, and we'll address it as we as we encounter them. They're supposed to, if they do have a license, it's supposed to be posted. I know the one in Ocean Ave has his posted on the building. So, and he is also way over the number of cars that he's licensed for this weekend. Thank you very much. Appreciate your concerns. Thank you, Councilor. Uh, I have one other, one other motion that I would like to make. Um, this is a motion to have the owners of Wonderland uh, come before the commission to address the parking situation. Um, uh, at Wonderland Dog Track. Specifically, we want to, uh, what they intend to do about the uh, unlicensed uh, operation and what they plan to do about the $37,000 in payments that are due the city uh, based upon the old agreement. So I think we owe it to the citizens of Revere to ask those questions and I'm making a motion to have them come before the license commission to answer that. Uh, is, is there a second on that motion? I'll second the motion. Thank you very much. We will have a, a motion to have the, the people from Wonderland come before the license commission at the next scheduled meeting. Uh, when is the next scheduled meeting? August 16th. Uh, is there any other business before the License Commission? This meeting will be adjourned until the next meeting of August 16th of 2017. Thank you very much.